there and welcome to Silver Screen Style, where, as the name would suggest, we will discuss and recreate the iconic styles from the silver screen. My name is Laura, and so I thought it made perfect sense that the very first upload should be about the film, Laura. Now, for those of you who don't know, Laura is considered by many to be the quintessential film noir of the 1940s. And it stars the absolutely gorgeous Jean Tierney and Dana Andrews and Clifton Webb and a young Vincent Price, who is playing a very un vincent -y Price type character. And so, if you haven't seen it, I cannot recommend it enough. Um, now, the point of this channel is to recapture the glamour of old Hollywood through the use of modern and vintage reproduction clothing. And so that means that everything you're going to see, all the items that I will use to recreate the looks from the movie, will be modern clothes. And everything will be linked in the description box below. So if you see something that you want to incorporate into your own wardrobe, it's right down there in the description box. And so, without further ado, I'm going to go curl my hair and put on that iconic 1940s red lipstick. And we'll be ready to dive into the mystery, romance, and glamour of the movie Laura. is an American film noir from 1944. The costumes, story, and cinematography beautifully portray the mystery, drama, and glamour of the genre. The first thing you probably think of when picturing the film Laura is the iconic portrait. The eerily captivating painting truly haunts Laura's apartment through most of the movie. To achieve the look, I found a black lace strapless dress from Target and paired it with a black lace shawl. I used the same black royal vintage pumps with all of the outfits. The second outfit was a striped peplum top with matching belt paired with a skirt. My blouse was less than $10 from Cheyenne and did not come with a belt. It's not a tight peplum, so you do need some sort of belt to create that classic silhouette. Now, I am not a seamstress, but since the blouse was so inexpensive, I purchased two and used the fabric to create a belt sleeve for an elastic belt I already had in my collection. A plain cream belt would also work for this look. Okay, let's pause and take a moment to talk about the lady responsible for all of these lovely looks. The fashion designer for the film was Bonnie Cashin. Now you might not know the name, but you certainly know her work, as her influence can still be seen in modern fashions. In fact, many credit Cashin with inventing American sportswear, not to mention she was the first designer for Coach back in 1962. One of Cashin's signature styles was the slouch hat. This style of hat is worn by Laura a couple of times throughout the film. I approve of that hat. You do? Mm-hmm. And the girl in it, too. <laughs> Thank you. One of the times she wears it is when she first meets the detective. To recreate this look, I paired my London Fog raincoat with an inexpensive floppy hat from Amazon. I attached some sweet khaki hair bows to the brim to help frame my face. Okay, so full disclosure, I have a large head, so I did have some issues keeping this hat on. So for me, this is more of a fashion look than a functional one. You better take off those wet clothes. You might catch cold. Well, she did take off those wet clothes and revealed a very cute and casual ensemble. Laura wears a check plaid button-down blouse tied at the waist with a white front panel inverted pleat skirt. I struggled to find a matching skirt, so I wore a plain A-line white skirt. 
My top is from Old Navy and I wore shoulder pads for added structure. The next outfit we see Laura wear is a smart pair of light slacks paired with a striped kimono. My faux wrap top is from Macy's, and once again, shoulder pads really help with the vintage factor of this look. As I was pulling the pieces trying to recreate the looks in the movie, I realized the fashions from Laura are not your typical 1940s attire. With the 40s, you usually think sharp tailoring, but Laura herself is seen wearing mostly draping and flowing outfits. It gives a soft, ethereal vibe to her character that makes her all the more captivating. A good example of this is the blouse and skirt Laura wears during her homecoming party. This slinky drawstring top paired with an equally drapey skirt is the perfect combination of sensual and casual. During the police interview, she covers up a bit with a matching scarf. And the whole ensemble looks effortlessly glamorous. Thanks. The final look is Laura's final dress in the movie. This sheath dress with buttons down the back is simple yet stunning. It's a modest, figure-flattering dress with a high neckline and ornate belt. I found this interesting belt from Amazon and added an adorable Dreamcatcher shoe clip of all things that I purchased from Etsy. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a modern dress with back buttons all the way down, so I went for a plain jersey dress. It definitely has a fuller skirt than Laura's does in the movie. I hope you enjoyed this movie lookbook. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Jean Tierney is one of my favorite actresses, and personally, I got a kick out of researching and recreating her outfit. So which look was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And also, let me know if you would wear any of these fashions out in your day-to-day -day life. All of the pieces I've used are linked in the description box below, so you can add a little noir sophistication to your own wardrobe. If you want to enjoy more styles from the silver screen, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Well, that's it for me. I'll see you next time as we explore more styles of the silver screen.